So there we are. Our two players are introduced to the stage, and it's uh, my pleasure now to introduce uh, the Secretary General of the WDF, Mr. Simon Timmers. Hello, Simon. How Thank are you? Thank you, Nick. Well, I'm very well, and I'm especially very well because the Dutch are doing us proud. They are doing extremely well. The, the men have wrapped up the title, and Richard and Wesley have just won an excellent game of pairs. It was a good game. It's a busy day for Richard. Yes, <laughs> very much so. The, he, he's the only one that has the chance of winning all four titles. Yeah, all four. And he's got two of them now. So yep. mm -hmm. still the singles and the team to go. But first of all, there's Sharon to yep. play her final. Yes, I the guess. racing angel. Racing angel, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're in combat here then. It's England. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The 2016 WF Europe so Cup ladies singles final. having a black eye at the end. Best of 13 <laughs> yeah. legs. Yeah, very much first so. leg, England to throw first. Game on. So as little Richard announced, it's the best of 13 legs. The players would have, um, it would have been decided off stage in the, with the draw 90. who gets the throw. Should we go to six legs all, then it would go to the bullseye to decide who throws first in the final leg. But uh, we're a long way from that. It's a good start from Sharon here. 140. Well, Sharon played well uh, this tournament. She had some big scalps. Absolutely, yeah. And was it uh, Dieter in the, just the second round, which is an amazingly high standard 100. of game for the, that early in the tournament? And especially because, l well, in the late, the, she lost to Dieter mm, she several has. times. So yeah. it was a great 140. Wow. 140, 140 to start. Yeah. She's on fire. Yes, yeah. Richard, Richard Veenstra is no Veenstra, I should say. Sorry, I'll keep pronouncing his name wrong. I must get it right. Veenstra. He's known as Flyers, and he flew through his game. So, Racing uh, Angel might race through her game. Hope so. Oh, Richard, in his first five 60. throws, he had four 140s and 121. Yeah. 121. Fallon is also in there. 123. Good darts. Netherlands on require 161. This threatens to be close, and as we saw, oh, great start. Treble 17. Back to the treble 20. 97. And Fallon should start England on the 18s here. Single 18, treble 18 would leave her a shot at the bullseye. Now stay there. Treble 18 would leave double 7. I think that's a single, and Fallon's. 72 score, we've just heard little Richard say, so it's bullseye. 77. Ah, just outside. Netherlands require 64. So. Good chance for Sharon, and this would break the throw, Simon, of course. Yep. Draw first blood. Mm. Double eight. Just one dart. Ooh. No score. Just missed that. That's England painful. require 45. So 13 for Fallon. She likes double 16. Game shot and on that's the first why. leg. That's not nice to England. Us, yeah. Second leg, the Netherlands to throw first. So Simon, Game one one. of the things I didn't know about your good self, you played for the national team. Yeah, back in the 80s, but uh, that was a whole different game. <laughs> <laughs> that was when smoking was allowed and drinking was allowed 16. on stage. That's, we've come a long way since then. Uh, we have. Uh, we have. Oh, I played in the Dutch team and I came there because I threw an uh, average of about 29. Okay. But wow. If, y if you look at it nowadays, 60. 29 well. isn't getting you in any national <laughs> team. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting the 20, let alone the 29. <laughs> but uh, that's another story. That's why I referee. <laughs> don't don't play. Well. So you, we were talking about um, Sharon's route to the final. Yes, you beat Dieter in the second round. Um, then Maud Janssen from Sweden 41. in the last 32. Uh, will you help yeah. me with the name from the uh, uh, the well last 16? Against Maud Janssen, she, uh, Sharon played very well in the yeah. first two legs. She blew her away. And 140! Maud didn't want to throw anymore. That, that's the disillusion. Wow. She was. Okay. And it's a young lady from Serbia. Do I have to put on my glasses ah. for that. That's Georgina Misevic. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that was Sharon 59. beat... Georgina Misevich in the last 16. Then Kate Smith from Scotland by 5-3 in the quarterfinal. And then, of course, the world champion in the semifinal. And, and I don't think Trina got going. Uh, that was speaking no. to Trina after. She didn't quite get going. But take nothing away from Sharon. You've still got to win the game. She did very well. Mm. 41. 
Netherlands require 146. Treble 20 to start the combination. Yes, treble 18. Okay, so that's 85 less, so treble 15. Ooh. 91. Double 16 when she wanted double 8, now treble 10 when she wanted treble 15. So. Well, fella, need two trebles now. Mm. 60. So there's no Netherlands pressure on Sharon. 55. Keep slipping into the wrong numbers. Yeah, but as you said, Simon, she has plenty of time here with, the, with Fallon back on 240. Game shot on the second leg. To the That's Netherlands. a confidence booster. Your double the leg your England first to throw first. Game on. Absolutely. And as you said, the, the confidence that she would have gained from having beaten Dito when yeah. she knew she had a bad, rec bad record against her yeah. must have just filled her with confidence and said, well, I can beat anyone 22. now. I've never beaten Dita. She's the number one. So yeah. why should I not go on and beat everyone? Oh, that's very important. And, and she's al also getting confidence from the team uh, because that's the 100. special effect in these types, type of yes. tournaments. Yes. The Dutch ladies were doing very well in the first three, four rounds. They were all in it. Mm. And in the last 16, there were four, four Dutch ladies. Yes. Yeah, so they boost each other. And that's helping your confidence also. Yeah, indeed. And of course, we'll see uh, Sharon and the Dutch ladies back for the team event a bit later. Yes. Faulty. And against the English girls. Uh, again, against the English. And it's all to play for because the overall championship uh, for the ladies is at stake. Mm -hmm. If okay. the Dutch ladies win both finals, they are overall champions. And okay. if, they, if the English ladies win one of the finals, they are. I see. Okay, so it's not. I must admit, I thought it was 60. was clear cut by now. But no, if that's why you're on the WDF and I'm a referee. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the managers all uh, had their pencils uh, ready and mm. made their calculations. And if the English ladies lost all three finals, then the Dutch ladies would. Okay, so Lorraine 100. and Dieter losing has kept the Netherlands in it, so yeah, to speak. Yeah. Okay. So, the so Dutch the, the ladies were cheering when Wales won. Oh, I yeah. see, yeah, I see. They'll be buying them a, a drink or two later on. It 80. Should, Maybe. Should it will work <laughs> out correctly for them. But now they have it in all their, their own hands, so. So we're for 100. with the men. It's England already decided that the Dutch have the overall championship. But yes. Treble 17 here. And now back to treble 20 from... 84. 92. Pressure on this finish for sure. Netherlands require 101. Mm, this would be it a break of throw as well. So it would be a blow. Treble 19. And now treble 10. 49. England require 24. Game shot nice on the start. third leg. To England. So it's 2-1. Uh, Going with throw at this moment in time. It'll be Sharon's throw in the next leg. Fourth leg, the Netherlands to throw first. While he's on screen, Game let's on. give um, Richard Ashdown a bit of a mention, Simon. He's, he's been busy running around the, the uh, two playing venues all week and organising for today. And actually, the job that him and Jack do, where they introduce all the players 81. and the presentations, they're meticulous in their build-up. I should know. I've had to put up with them for the last <laughs> few hours. Well, it's it's a uh, it's a big job to do, mm. and they fill it in perfectly. And 59. They do it now since 2008, I think. Yes, I think that's right. And they're doing a marvelous job. Mm. You all do, because you can't do it without referees 60. in this kind of matches, and the whole tournament is has to be led. And there are a lot of markers. There are a lot of vol volunteers helping out, but they have to have guidance. Yes, sir. And Richard and yourself are giving that. Well, thank you. The markers have been fantastic all week. I think uh, just little glips, but that's going to happen. Everybody makes mistakes. Players make mistakes. I sometimes think that they're, they're a little bit quick to criticise sometimes. However, they forget when they go for 42 when they should have had 32 or, or whatever. So. But all players expect uh, uh, a standard 100. from the yeah. Dutch. Yeah. So yes. yes, you put yourself under your yeah. own pressure, didn't you? Th that's true. But yeah. we have a marvellous group of officials and they work hard these days 140 but they are also at the dutch open and the other tournaments mm. we organize yep so we have a big group of volunteers yes yeah, helping us out it's been a 
been a pleasure working with them all week. They, they're 34. so keen to, to do well as well. Yep. That's a slip there from uh, from Fallon, leaving 168 as well. That 34, A, a poor score, and B, leaving 168 is not great. But Sharon not Didn't taking a full, full advantage there. She needed a treble there. Mm. Mm, I agree. That's a good dart. So 63 is 105. Looks like Fallon's going to stay at the 20s. 83. Netherlands require 134. Sharon needs a big score to put some pressure on the 85 of Fallon. 14 here for tops. Oh, 91. another loose dart. England require 85. She has that quite regularly. Mm, great dart from Fallon. This for a break of throw. Tops. Oh. 45. So yes, Sharon, your point 43. here with that loose dart is Sharon now will only have two darts at a double, yep. whereas she should be having three, shouldn't she? Yeah, that's true. And it's these mistakes that can lose you your games. But Game shot on the fourth leg. She got to over the her nerves. She coped with it very well. Fifth leg, two England all. to throw first. Game on. Yes, the, the ladies' pairs game went all the way, five all and a bull up in the last leg. Maybe the ladies' singles is it's beginning to look as though it could go 44. the whole way here as well. Albeit just that one break of throw can change things so quickly. We we talked about Sharon's route to the final. Um, perhaps we could have a quick 45. look at how Fallon got to the final. So she played Vicky Prum from Sweden in the last 32. Vicky's moved over from Belgium, I believe. Yeah, she played before four times for 41. Belgium, but mm -hmm. she moved over to Sweden. She's living there for quite a few years now, and so she's el eligible to play for Sweden. Yep. 81. Okay, and then the last 16, Fallon saw off Lumi Silvan. Now, 4-1 was the score. Not an easy game because uh, Lumi's quite a slow player, and yeah. you have to keep your concentration in games like that. It's one of the Swedish ladies. 98. And especially on the floor, because there's mm. a lot to see next to you. Yeah, very true. There are a lot of players yes. around you. Yeah, and if you're, if they, if their match is finished, then you're all alone on the floor. And yes, yeah, yeah, but it's something that Fallon's learned to cope with. I think in the last year, year and a half, we forget that I mean, she's been on the on the tour 41. for a number of years now. But she's still only, I think, she's 22. Yeah. She'll she grew the last two years. Yes, in, in her play and in her maturity mm -hmm. as a player. Oh yes, 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 yes. Great chance to break the throw. We were just saying how it had gone with throw so far. This is a chance. 99. So at least six darts Netherlands for require 95. Sharon. To put away 95. And she could go treble 18 or treble 10 here. She's gone treble 10. Because her opponent's back on 55. 178, she didn't need to go 20 and ball, which I think is the right thing to do. Would you agree? I think, yeah. Mm. So it's three darts for 40 now for Sharon. Putting on a little bit of pressure, mm. Fallon is. 85. He's a 93. Require 40. Well, she's hit this before. <sighs> on the wire. Now. She's deciding what to do. I think she was looking and thinking, 30. could I go two double four? But I think England with Fallon on 93, 93, that would have been a mistake. Well, yesterday she did, playing the Scottish lady. Yeah, Kate And Smith, then the yeah. Scotty la Scottish lady threw... A big finish. So, so I Fallon don't with think a chance here for the bullseye. Ooh. Oh, 68. I think Sharon will go for two double four. 10. But she's nervous. You can tell. Ooh. Game shot on the well, fifth uh, leg. That's a if we can have a to the talk about straight in the middle. My word, that was right in the middle of the bed, wasn't it? So she broke the throw of Fallon. Mm. Six leg, the Netherlands to throw first. Game on. Yes, that could be cru that could be the crucial part of the game. Just finishing off Fallon's route to the final. She, we were talking about Lumi. In then in the quarter final, the big clash, as we thought, was uh, Fallon Cherok against Eileen de Graff. Yeah, and Eileen couldn't get in no. her in her rhythm. No, she was uh, nil three behind. And okay, she couldn't. Manage to 41. put yeah. in the big scores which we are used from, mm -hmm. uh, Marlene. But and yes, Fallon came through that 5 2. 
And then, of course, the almost the, the horrible 16. game. You'd love to be in a semi-final, but the last thing in a team event you want to do is be playing one of your teammates. And it was Fallon that played against Lorraine Winstanley. And I watched that game, and Fallon raced into a 5-2 lead. 59. Lorraine brought it all the way back to 5 all, and Fallon won the final leg. Yeah. And that was, uh, it was a great game. It was a good game. And that was actually Lorraine's chance because Lorraine at that point was still in with the chance 55. of winning all four tournaments. The pairs, the singles, yeah. the team, and then the outright. But uh, wasn't to be. No, but there were three English ladies in the semis. So mm. that's the dominance for ladies' darts for you. It is, but uh, in times gone by... We get to finals day and England ladies have already won the tournament. But as you've just so eloquently said a few moments ago, that that's not the case this time. Nope. There's still the, say, outside chance, but it's getting closer. Yeah, it is. And a lot of countries are coming up. It's, it's very difficult for the small countries to, uh, to bring to this tournament four ladies, mm. which yes. are all good. Yes. But there are some big surprises 80. when you look at countries England like Malta or Greece or yeah. whatever they oh that's they a play well 121 the only dart well I say the only dart she absolutely needed to hit the 20 bed for the first dart and that obviously didn't do it 45 so 76 plays 66 so Netherlands requires 66 I think uh, treble 10 here for for Sharon yep she's looking down I think to the right hand side now 16 for tops just about in the 16 bed. Big dart. 46. Ooh. England requires 76. Fallon would love for this first dart to go in the treble 20. Oh, and now Ooh. she's got to go 25 and bull. She missed that just outside. So six leaves, 70. So treble 10 or treble 18? Treble 18, I think, for, for Fallon. 10. Went round the houses there and didn't get very far, Simon. Netherlands is this concentration? 20. Yes, I, I, I'm not sure. Was it the pressure? It is very warm up on the stage. I'm not saying that that's, they're not used to that, but perhaps the darts may be a little bit slippy again. Yeah. Game Ray shot on the sixth leg. Do you think Sharon to meant to go six double seven? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Seventh leg, England. Every so darts player Rovers. wants his first dart going into yeah. the double. But she won't care now. Oh, no, she won't. Mm. And it gives her a little bit of a cushion. Yes. Give her a little bit of confidence. 96. Yeah, 4-2. I think you were, you were talking earlier about the uh, the minor countries in darts, as we'll call it, the, mm. the lower-ranked countries. It's been fantastic this week to see some some superb individual performances. So as you say, it's slightly more difficult as to bring four players and, and really compete with the likes of England, Holland, Wales, Scotland, Republic of Ireland. Ma and Northern Ireland, those in Sweden. 123. We're, we're, we're playing the ladies game, and I'm sure we'll come on to the, uh, talking about the Maltese chap <laughs> at some point. He, he thrilled us. But in the ladies game, there were... 60. Uh, the Germans, uh, Steffi Zvikovic made the quarterfinal. And um, the lady from Belgium, Karin, is it Dessain? Karin Dessain. 41. Yes. Yeah. Also got to the quarterfinals. And Kate Smith, of course, from Scotland. That was the best that Kate's done um, at uh, Europe Cup as well. So 140! But as you say, when you then look back to the last 16, not too many countries are, are, are finding players, although Hungary, I thought, were they, they ladies seem to be improving. There were some surprises. Then she oh, 171! Oh, brilliant shot there from Fallon Sherrick. 171. To give herself a chance of a 70-out shot. I think Fallon really does need to win this leg as 60. well. 5-2 down and you're really in England trouble. England requires 70. Well, it's first to seven, so of you course. have a little bit of, of time, course. but you don't want to be three legs behind. Mm. Oh, good shot. Shot. Great good shot. Good shot. To England. Eighth leg, the She's Netherlands. keeping up the pressure on Sharon. Mm. Game on. And she needs to. Indeed. Sorry, Simon, you were talking about the Hungarian girls and the... Yes, then she was unlucky playing Eileen in a great form and mm -hmm. dead match. Yeah. yeah in the 100! Last, last 16 there. It, uh, the result was 4-1 to Eileen, but it was a little bit closer than that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they're all also the Norwegian girls played very well. There were two in the last 16. Mm -hmm. 
but especially with the men, it was last eight or last six. One hundred and forty. There were fourteen countries. That's right. It. Yeah, in the team, uh, in the um, singles. Yes. Yeah. Fifty-eight. And it's been good to see some of these guys this morning. That the. the Latvian girls and the Lithuania have come into the hall to watch 100. these this, these games and, and they've had their picture taken on the stage and they're made up. So well, it's always a special atmosphere, the, the Europe Cup or the World Cup mm. for that matter. Uh, countries, uh, it's, it's special to play for your country. And some of the, especially the English but and the Dutch, are used to these kinds of yes. events. But yes. Most of the players aren't used to that, and it's a great experience for them. Mm -hmm. Very much so. And it's a great success. There are 32 countries here. 60. Netherlands require 80. It's been brilliant how everybody's got on as well, the different cultures, and, and, well. and I have to say the hotel has been fantastic in my opinion. It was great. 60. But we always like coming here for the for what is now the Finder Masters, the Finder in, Masters in yeah. December. It will be starting at the 9th of December, Yeah, that weekend. Tickets for sale? Tickets for Forty. sale. Yeah, get yourself down there. It's, it's a fantastic Netherlands atmosphere. 20. Findermasters.nl, it's a great event. Well, Sharon, come on. <laughs> yeah. We meant to be non-biased. No so score. Uh, well, that talk for yourself. <laughs> <I'm not biased. laughs> come on, Fallon. <laughs> It's more difficult, I suppose, for a referee that we are the, <laughs> we're the fan, uh, fans of all players. 100. That's the way to put it. Yeah. Netherlands required 20. To be there, I think all the players respect the fact that, dare I say, I'm English and... Oh, that's a l another loose dime. Mm. No score. That 69 score when she only wants 20. England require 150. Can you give Fallon the 69 sc points? <laughs> Uh, that's a problem. If you're that far in front in a leg, then mm. you think, oh, I've got time, and then you ease up. And you 99. have to have the killer mentality all the way Netherlands through. Netherlands yes. 20. Yes. Because you need that adrenaline for throwing well. Yeah, very true. Well, one dart. Oh, yes. oh great dart. Great dart, Sharon Prince. You could see that was a great oh, relief yes. for her. Ninth leg, England to so throw still first. a cushion Game of two on. legs for Sharon. Yes, yeah, time running out here for Fallon to break back. 60. So both girls have had some loose starts when we got to those finishes. 121 hitting one and... Yeah, you can, you can tell there's pressure in 60. Mm. They both really want to have this title. What an honour. European Cup champion. Wow. 100! Great sound to it, doesn't it? And, and there you see the venue as well. I've, I've loved the way that the uh, NDB and the WDF have laid out the flags around the... 60! Uh, all the credits arena. to the NDB. They mm. did a marvellous job. They yeah. have been organising this for about one and a half year now. Mm -hmm. and and they are trust me, it takes some organising, doesn't oh it? Oh, yeah. Uh, 85! They thought it through in every meticulous aspect of a tournament like this. Mm -hmm. 60! You can see, and what you don't see there is on the opposite wall, we have the other 16 flags as well. So all yeah. 32 flags around the room, the dartboards you can see that have been being used all week. 100! Really has been an excellent venue and excellently organised. Chance for Sharon for a 180! 125. <laughs> I think she knew as soon as she let that one go. <laughs> Another one of those from Fallon for double 18. 61 leaves her 95. Should come down for treble 19. 80. Well, a big score needed for Sharon if she wants any chance in this leg. Well, that's a good start. It's a beautifully placed dart. Another one would be nice. One hundred and forty. I'm going to say you taught that one <laughs> in very well. Seventy-six. Pressure now on Fallon. Seven, and she did this on seventy-six last time. She's now got to go twenty-five again. Last time she missed the twenty-five, so it's the ball then. Bullseye. Oh. Fifty-one. Sharon, 
Sharon taking her time, letting Fallon think about this. Netherlands require 56. She's taking a little bit too much time, I believe. Thinking too much? Yeah. Double ten, one dart. Oh my word! Thirty-six. Move the wire, but it's not in. England required twenty-five. Remember, Fallon threw first in this leg, so she really does need to hold her throw. Double eight. What? Double eight, one dart. Ooh. No. Nine. <laughs> Netherlands required twenty. Sure, getting herself 20. ready. Yes. Simon's getting himself ready as well. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's in front of... Oh, oh yeah. that's Sharon. a good dot. And another break for Sharon. Just needing one more leg. So if she holds her throw, she will be European champion. But And one of those titles where the Netherlands. I'm so the European Rovers. champion. I beat Dieter Hebman. I beat Trina Gallagher. And I beat Fallon Sherrick. And there still is a possibility of the Dutch ladies winning the yes, overall championship. Yes, very so much so. Wow. 41. Well, Fallon needs to step in now. You can't see on the facial expression of Fallon if she's... 28. Feeling under pressure. She Cross be. with herself, I think, is... Because uh, yeah. that was an opportunity there, with Sharon only going off with 41. 45. It's another opportunity for Fallon. She hasn't really fired this morning. Only the first leg, I mm. think. Forty-eight. So Fallon now finds herself in the position that Lorraine was in against Fallon yesterday. One hundred. Three behind with four to play. And Sharon finding the trouble first, but Fallon is in there. One hundred. And composed. 140. I feel over the last year you were saying that you thought Fallon had grown in stature and maturity. I think Sharon has become more confident and her darts are hitting the board with a purpose now rather than sometimes she just felt a little bit hopeful, if that's the right word. That's a bit disparaging. I don't mean it quite 40. as nasty as it, it sounds, it but it you get creeps what I mean? in sometimes now, but mm. it's she's much more confident. Mm. She's been out uh, having a baby. Yep. Become a mother now. 60. So the perspective on life is different. She's more confident, more confident in her play. And yes. She won a few tournaments the last uh, couple of months. Yep, indeed. In in including her fourth on the Trot Catalonian Open, if I'm not mistaken. Netherlands yeah. require 150. What a way to finish. And she qualified for the Finna Masters, yep. and that she did for the fifth time. Okay, time in a row. good. 39. One hundred and twenty one. Great guards from Fallon. Mm, good pressure. Some pressure. Netherlands require seventy six. Wow. Triple twenty. Sixteen then. Well, come on. Thirty six. Oh. She closes her eye. Yeah, it Netherlands was. Seventy nine. So oh. Fallon will go for nineteen here. She really needs this. Ooh. Oh, okay. What a great dart. Thirty nine for tops. Now tens to save. Herself, keep herself in the tournament more than likely. Oh, 69. my word. But that was a mistake to go for 30. Oh, Netherlands oh, require I agree. 40. I agree. Wow. Game, shots. We've and got the another European champion with WF Sharon Prince. Euro Cup Prince. ladies singles Great champion, darts. Sharon Prince Brilliant. from the Sorry, Netherlands. <laughs> no, not at all. It's fantastic to see. I love Sharon to bits. I think she's a, a wonderful young lady and uh, it's good to see her on the winner's roster and as long as England come back and win the team <laughs> event now. Otherwise, <laughs> oh, I will be see. distraught. Yeah, that was a fantastic game and we'll pass you back to uh, Richard and to, um, we'll to the studio. Yep. Very, Thank very you, Simon. Slowly. I really enjoyed that. Ladies Thank you, Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, Fallon Sherrick of England, Sharon Prince of the Netherlands.